Regular viewers of the channel are probably sick to death of hearing me speak about how much uh, I love Kelty Hearts. Um, but I love what they stand for as a club. Not just Kelty Hearts, but Edinburgh City and Cove Rangers as well. They've really broke the mould of Scottish football, those three clubs, and for a long time, for hundreds of years, the SPFL was a closed off Super League, essentially, of which you couldn't get uh, relegated out of and you couldn't get promoted into. You had to wait for a club to go bust financially and then bid your way in. That happened to Annan bid their way in, Peterhead bid their way in, Elgin bid their way in, I think Ross County and Inverness Cali Thistle did that as well. So these clubs had to bid their way in in like a franchise American model. And I, that's not football. I'm from England where um, we have the best um, pyramid system, in my opinion, in the world. We have a non-league system, which is unbelievable. We have a non-league playoff final that get played at Wembley in front of tens of thousands of people. We have non-league cup final day where you've got the Vars and the trophy finals getting played at Wembley. So, yeah, I think uh, Scottish football could learn a lot from the English pyramid system. I just mentioned they're the three clubs, Edinburgh City, Cove, Rangers and Kelty, who have come up in recent years. And there is one in the Lowland League who I hope to see up soon. I've never seen a game at the home of Bonnie Rig Rose. I've seen them play away this season at Vale of Leven. They won 13 nil, and uh, I love their kit. I really thought their players were amazing. I met some of the people who were from the club that day at the away game, and um, they were so nice and friendly and welcoming. And uh, they said, come on down to New Dundas Park whenever you want. And today is that day. I'm going to be going inside the home of the team that are currently top of the Lowland League, and I would love to see this team go into the SPFL. I would love that. I don't want to tempt fate or anything like that, but it's looking good for them. They are well top of the Lowland League, so they should win it. But then obviously they've got to play the winner of the Highland League. Then they've got to, if they win that, play the um, the team that comes bottom of the SPFL. So it's still very hard to get in the SPFL. I still think uh, promotion and relegation needs opening up a lot more. That'll only happen if we keep talking about these issues in Scottish football. But let's go and check out Bonnie Rig Rose. So it's essentially because it was done in '88. Um, they essentially just took. Uh, wow! So someone put together this book of the entire history of the. Yeah. The well, yeah, but it's essentially newspaper cuttings now. Um, How long did it take them to go through oh, everything? Oh, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know. But um, I uh, now the, nowadays you can go to the British National Library archive and yeah. get these things, which I do when folk go, oh, my great-granddad used to play in blah, blah, blah. So I, I could do searches on it. Yeah. There's certainly... There's one... There's... Because Sean Connery isn't he's actually that's that's not the is that like his that, stage name sort yeah, of thing yeah yeah, yeah. he was actually um, Tam Connery that was his oh. that was his thing um, I'm just trying to because he played with us in the fifties <laughs> in the newspaper but that was actually Sean Connery that's oh Connolly but that should be Connery that should oh be, right okay that be Connery Aye, definitely so that's James Bond scoring on the uh, 18th of October 1951 against Broxburn yeah. From 30 yards. Yeah. Spelled incorrectly, but it's definitely no, him. No, it's definitely him. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely him. Something I don't see in no, 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 most stadiums really, is a darts really. board, um, but it's nice, I guess, the players can let off a bit of steam pre or post game. They or... do, uh, they do um, so they sort of base themselves here um, before training. So we, we train up at Lasswith High School because yeah. it's an artificial surface. Um, but yeah, they come in here and put the opposition's faces on the board. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Not, not, on, not in public anyway, no, but um, no, no, no. so sorry, sorry, we should probably introduce yourself first. Um, if you could just let everybody know what you do here at the club. Yeah, yeah um, my name is Brendan Parkinson and I'm treasurer for Bonnie Rig Rose. Amazing. And um, I went to see Bonnie Rig against Vale of Leven earlier this season, which was a fantastic 13-0 win for yourselves. Yes. Currently top of the Lowland League, what are the ambitions for the club? Um, well, obviously, we moved from the juniors in 2018 uh, with a view to seeing how far we could go. Um, right now, we're, we're doing okay. We're at the top of the Lowland League just now. I think we need three wins to secure um, status of champion club. 
Um, after that, we go into the playoffs uh, to meet the winners of the Highland League. And after that again, um, the winners of that play the bottom club in League Two. So, yeah, the ambition is to get into the SPFL. And do you think... Um... Do you think it should be opened up slightly so that maybe Highland versus Lowland, the winners of that playoff should go up and then maybe the losers of that playoff should maybe play the penultimate team? And I know it's a little bit of a, yeah, you know, I, it's not easy for clubs to come no, up, No, as, 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 as you'll have seen um, a couple of years ago, I, I think any, any talk or chat about reconstruction is going to take a long time because <laughs> reconstruction right now is toxic. You, you, you saw what happened. Uh, recently, but no, absolutely. And um, there appears to be a bottleneck at the at, at, at the top of the Highland and Lowland League and at the bottom of League Two. But similarly, there's probably you could argue there's the same sort of bottleneck at the bottom of the Lowland League with the West of Scotland yeah. and East of Scotland clubs trying it's to get some massive in. clubs, so, isn't there? Yeah, yeah there, there needs to be dialogue with all these clubs to try and sort it out because. Um, at least the theory should be um, everybody should be able to find a level but mm -hmm. right now it doesn't seem to be the case oh we, yes we put that up so um, Sean Connery of course yeah. yeah we put that up after he passed away okay um, yeah so basically um, you pay to get your name on that. yeah so anyone watching any Bonnie Rig fans come and uh, get your name stuck on the on the board <laughs> Um, and you can be next to Sean no, Connery. Really good. Um, what, what we're going to do is, or the plan was, we put that up so it'll help fund some of the stuff that we're trying to yep, do. Yeah, of course. Um, because we, we own our ground. So Yeah, well, it's a lovely ground. Look at this. Uh, well, we've been here since pretty much the start of it. Um, yeah. So uh, I think we moved in, it could be 1883. Yeah, and looking at the badge, like of course, 1881. We were just chatting when I first turned up about yeah. how the club were senior, junior, now back to senior. Is that correct? That's right, yeah. So we, we started out in the in the senior league, so we were playing senior for X amount of years. Yep. Uh, we moved to the juniors in 1896, 1897, something like that. Um, and then after, you, you can do the maths on that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in 2018, um, we decided to move from, from junior to the senior leagues. Yeah, and it's going quite well, isn't it? Yeah, it has. So far, so good. Uh, obviously, in our first season, um, we won the East of Scotland League. Um, we, we were there thereabouts uh, the last two seasons. And you've had a few tussles with Kelty down the years, haven't yeah, you, since well, the we, reconstructions? We, 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 we have, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so Kelty were, I, I suppose, um, the figurehead, if you like, of, of yeah. teams moving. We, we'd spoke to them um, and, and a couple of other clubs uh, the season before they did. Um, but we, we weren't in a position with club licensing and stuff to move as soon as yeah. we did. But you know what? Fair play to them. Um, they're absolutely pulling up trees um, since going into the SPFL. Yeah. They're top of League Two, and nobody would back against them to to, to go to, to go up another level or even two. Um, and it just shows uh, what new clubs, introduction of new clubs um, can can do in the SPFL. Cove Rangers are the same. Yeah. They're top of League One. We played Cove here. Uh, a few years ago in the, the Scottish Cup and then yeah the, the Edinburgh City as well Edinburgh City yeah uh, well if you go further back you go Annan uh, Elgin and Peterhead they're yeah, all of course. Uh, and anyone that's come up um, in the last 20 years hasn't, hasn't went back down amount of games yeah. at home in the first half of the season so right now with eight, eight league games left um, we've got bonus here on the 19th we have East Stirlingshire here on the 9th of April yeah. and we've one more fixture against Cumbernauld Coast to come in for March and that's, yeah. that's, our, that's our home games for the rest of the season so what would happen if you win the like I oh know there's still a few games to be won or whatever, but it's looking, you know, you're top of the league, it's looking good. What would happen with like a, a trophy day, for instance? Would you have to have it at an away ground then, if you've got so many away fixtures? Uh, probably. Um, or, or, I, 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 do you know what? I haven't thought. Uh, you can't think about those things not, until they happen. Not a bit, not, not a bit, not a bit. We need, I think, looking at the maths just now, um, we need three three more wins, yeah. nine points. Um, 
and that's to secure and that's assuming that the teams that are behind us win every single game yeah. between now and the end of the season so yeah we're in the box seat just now I'd prefer us to be where we are than, than anywhere else of course, of course. Um, but yeah trophies and stuff that, that'll sort itself and um, so how many people would you usually get at a game at home then? Um, so our attendance is unrestricted because we've had to, <laughs> we've had a cur curtailed attendances for some of our games because of Covid and things like that but our, our average is above 500 so anywhere between 500 and 600 yeah. and that's not without any reliance on in any sort of a wafer. Yeah, and I love this level of football and as you know I love the yeah, non-league level in Scotland and why should more people come and watch games at Bonnie Rig and other non-league teams around there? Well, it's, your, it's, it's your local, uh, for, for us, it, it's your local club, you know, um, Bonnie Rig has expanded, I mean population wise out, out of all proportion over the last 10 or 20 years and I suppose we can help uh, we can help promote ourselves because there'll be a lot of people that live here now because yeah. you just use Bonnie Rig as a base because the commuter town they go around to the bypass mm -hmm. go around the bypass and go to work um, but yeah we have done a lot in terms of promotion and particularly the community club uh, has done as well because um, there's a facility not very far away from here where they're taking kids yeah kids wear the strips then their parents might come down and watch the, the yeah. adults play I really like the strips as well yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. the red and but, red but, and white yeah. we, we've had them we've had them for a while but um yes that that we've let in kids in here or under 12s for free so we came in in 2009 one of the first things we did was under 12s for free yeah why, why, why would community you community club well, yeah you want people in don't why, you why, so, yeah. why would you charge somebody so they bring along the parents and do you know what ah, 2009 that's 10 12 13 years ago the ones that were that size yeah. back then they're adults we, we've, we've retained quite a few of them yeah. for, for adults yeah but our attendances have particularly since we moved um from the juniors our, our attendances have gone up year and year and year our seats of take holders are, are the same we've just we've got just over 300 now wow. which is i mean that puts us on a par with um, teams in League Two and maybe one or two in League One. Of as course, well, you know? yeah, yeah. You go to non-league grounds and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you see more people there than you would in certain League Two grounds. Yeah. And but you were saying that that stand over there is where everyone si sings and stands oh, no, up and stuff. That's, and that, that's 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 where most of that's our that's the crazy our, stand. Our, 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 that's where most of the, the, the crazies go. Yeah. And there yeah. might be plans, you say, to yeah, add our, and our plan, our our. our Hopefully, because we're, we're sort of stuck with, with red tape, with warrants and, and things like that. Um, so we would have hoped to have had that up by now. But yeah, yeah we, we, our supporters wall over there, the logic of putting it up was so that I would fund another another stand here. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, at least before the end of the season, I, I hope we get it done. Yeah. Um, similarly, behind both goals, uh, we're going to make sure, we're going to do sort of terracing behind both goals. Yeah. So it makes it easier for people to walk around. Yeah. And, and things like that because if we do go up um, we have to make sure that we've, we've got a relatively decent capacity as well. Um, so that's the second time we won the Junior Cup. Yeah, and you were saying um, you won the Junior Cup in 66. Yes. And that makes you the only team in Scotland. You probably won the few that celebrate 1966. Yeah, yeah, of course, there can't be many, yeah. yeah. I took a subscriber called Glenn to a football match yesterday and uh, he's from England uh, but he loves Scottish football and I said to him what do you love about Scottish football so much why are you so interested in ground hopping up here and he said one word and that word was friendliness he loves the friendliness of the people of Scotland and um, yeah for me it is that it is uh, people like Brendan who we've just spoken to today what a lovely guy running uh, helping to run uh, Bonnie Rig Rose a fantastic club uh, run by fantastic people I love the people up in Scottish football don't get me wrong but there's something else that I love and that is the scenery look at that we are just like a three or four minute drive away from Bonnie Rig Rose's stadium now look there's like a viaduct down there look at some of the houses look imagine living down there look at those like snow-capped mountains over there you don't get that in many other places around the world these kind of views with people as nice as uh, as Brendan and everyone else that I met 
when I went to see Bonnie Rig Rose play away to Vale of Leithen earlier this season. Yeah, guys, do let me know your thoughts on the pyramid system below, how you'd like to see it maybe changed or opened up for non-league teams. Do let me know if you'd like to see Bonnie Rig in the SPFL eventually. They've got a lovely little stadium and you have to come and visit it. Thank you so much for watching. If you could remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you knew, that would be fantastic. Um, I'll leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.